Every day we make lots of important decisions. Do I ride my bike or play video games? Order the wings or a grilled chicken sandwich? Soda or juice? How much thought do you put into choices like these? Decisions about diet and exercise might seem trivial, but they could affect your health even sooner than you think. Here's a not so fun fact about your generation. In the last 30 years, obesity has tripled among people aged 12 to 19. It all comes down to decisions. Choose to sit around playing video games and chowing on chips, you'll probably get fat. Decide to be more active and eat healthier, you'll probably be fitter. Okay, don't raise your hand, but how many of you smoke or use chewing tobacco? Did you know tobacco use is an epidemic among teens? No big deal, right? Wrong. Tobacco use causes damage to your body, starting right now. Want proof? One in three people who use tobacco, including you or your friends, will die early because of it. Bottom line, all choices have consequences. Some good, some bad. Good decisions might even save your life or someone else's. Luckily, you've got time to learn. In fact, that's why we're here. You're about to hear the stories of three people, probably not so different from people you know. Let's see if you can figure out what happened to them and if you agree with some of their choices. Maybe you can help them make healthy decisions for the future. Ready to get started? Pay attention and make some notes as we go. First, say hello to Arturo. 56 years old, pretty unhealthy lifestyle. He loves high fat, high calorie food, and hates exercise. That's a bad combination. Arturo is overweight, but he's never had a heart problem. Brian is a 40-year-old man who's feeling a lot of stress about school and family. He also smokes cigarettes. Finally, meet Angela. She's 35 with a very active, healthy lifestyle. But due to her family history, she still might be at risk for cardiovascular or heart disease. Before we go any further, let's discuss the warning signs of a heart attack. Someone having a heart attack might have more than one of these symptoms. Chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath, indigestion or heartburn, lightheadedness, dizziness, cold sweat, discomfort in one or both arms, in the back or the neck or the jaw. The most common sign is chest pain or uncomfortable pressure or squeezing in the chest. Another symptom is shortness of breath, either before or during the chest pain. Most heart attacks result from changes that occur in blood vessels over many years. Women account for nearly half of all heart attack deaths. They are more likely than men to experience shortness of breath, nausea or vomiting, and pain in the back or jaw. 